So when it comes to peanut butter and jelly or a piece of chocolate cake, is there anything better than a tall glass of milk? Nothing. What do you guys think? I, well, I, I don't. I think that's perfect. Right? I do too. Yeah. This is my favorite for my birthday. That's right. Okay. Oh. He, he likes chocolate milk too. Oh, yeah. And also, Heidi Harkoff is here, of course, and we, we want to thank you for, for joining us today on the show. Great. You're going to show us and Dante, because he's our sous chef today, this really cool recipe that families can make at home. That's right. So, we love a cold glass of milk, but this right. is steamy side to milk that we love as well. And come this point of the winter, you might be getting a little tired of your cappuccinos and lattes. Yeah. So, I want to show you some other ways that you can steam it up with milk and add some really fun flavors through spices, herbs, and citrus peels. Sweet. Great. Dante, you ready? Ready? Give yeah. this for me? Said, All right. I, I guess. We'll give you this. And what we're going to do is make a chamomile tea steamer. Ooh. And it's, you take the milk. You know, I have a little egg can at my house. You do you really? Can you <laughs> mix, you can mix that up a little bit. We're going to add chamomile tea. We're going to put a cinnamon stick, a little bit of brown sugar, Ooh. and a few cloves. And you bring that up to a simmer oh, and you let it just sit there for about want. 10 minutes. Uh -huh. And then you take a strainer and you can just strain it into your cup. Okay. So what I also have is a gingerbread steamer. <gasps> and there Ooh. you would just it brings Hello. back like the fall of pumpkin spice. Um, so you put some milk in there, and here you could put a slice of fresh ginger. You can also use dried. Um, nice. A sprinkle of nutmeg, some cinnamon, and again brown sugar. Yeah. And there's no rules, but if you want, we have a blog on our website mm -hmm. which has these recipes there plus more. So if you need to follow instructions, you can mm -hmm. do that. But this is really the way you like it and to it, be. You're just heating it up. You don't want to boil it or anything, do you? That's exactly right. That's a really okay. good point. You don't want to bring it to a boil. A simmer is really just where you see the very small bubbles at the top and stop it there because once you bring it to a boil, the flavor of the milk will change somewhat. It's I still good, I, but I it's I different. Some three bubbles. That's a clove in there. Got some bubbles in there, don't And also at that point, if you let this milk sit for a while, it might form that skim on top. Uh, okay. But when you All just right. bring it to simmer, then yeah. you're good. All right. So, so are you, what are you going to zest a little bit here? Yep. So this is a really great one. I have some finished right here in this Ooh. cup. Ooh. And it's can amazing. I try it? You can. It's just citrus peel. You uh -huh. want to not get the white pith, so you can use any of your tools to just take okay. that outside off. None of the juice. That'll make a curdle. Mm -hmm. And you just put that in there, and you simmer for about ten minutes. So nice and it's warming and. Comforting. It has a little subtle orange taste to it. Yep, it's oh, very I love subtle it. and it's kind of that mood so brightening kind of taste like maple that you can bring to the milk. The pancakes well, the maple, maple syrup on pancakes is great. And did you bring maple syrup? <laughs> maple too? syrup. So this is a really great New England sweetener. You just put a teaspoon of this in your hot milk, and it's fantastic. And the nice thing is when you do this with kids, especially, they get nine nutrients that support their health. Oh, oh so important. Eggs as well. Nice. With eight grams eggs of protein, your favorite you can't too. go wrong doing this. Yeah. So. And any of the sweeteners that you enjoy can actually be the ones that carry the flavor. Ooh. I was raised on hot milk and honey, mm -hmm. and in our household, that was just a cure for whatever. We're going to have yeah. to try that. Anything. Yep. Awesome. Sounds awesome. delicious, yeah. Heidi. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Heidi, thank you for joining us. Scrambled eggs, I like using the egg beater. Egg beaters are always good. And, <laughs> and, and he's going to keep mixing. Make sure you guys log online, newenglanddairycouncil.org. Heidi, we're going to end the show here with you and uh, enjoy some uh, drinks here. We'll be right back. Oh, thanks. Good.